Welcome back to another Regeneration TV. We're out here at my mom's house. We're gonna do a little special interview. But before we do a special interview, we're gonna do a little bit of facial cleansing. And as we wait for it to dry, we're actually gonna ask him some questions and see what he answers, okay? Come with me. All right, we're in the bathroom with oh my God, Catherine. Go, oh, just do it, just do it. We're in the bathroom with Catherine here. We're doing the black mask. Okay. I'm gonna wear the black mask. Y'all already know that it's super sticky. Why is that? And it's supposed to cleanse your face and then tear a layer of skin off too. Jonathan here, he's our guest speaker. He's also gonna be putting on the mask. And we're gonna ask him some questions. We Don't mind the hair, because the hair is part of the fashion statement that men rule, women drool. All right, go ahead, Carol. Do the honors. Just on the nose. No, I, but it's everywhere. No, just the nose. And not around my, I have nose hair. So this is, what is it called, Catherine? Charcoal? Yeah. So this is charcoal thingy mababru. Supposed to really cleanse. It's knows. supposed to take out your black. Go a little bit more. Oh. Yeah, go Good a little bit you more. You have out. to do it. You look like you know, me. All right. That's not a bad character. No, don't put it on my eyebrow. You're Mr. Barnacle. Squidward? Oh. What is it? Mermaid oh, Man. <laughs> you almost got it in my eye. And Barnacle Boy. That's it. No, don't even touch it. <laughs> let just let it dry. All right, Jonathan. Your turn. No. <laughs> There's no way, right? Do it for the, do it for the fans. Wait, All right. It, oh my God. Oh, <laughs> she got on my eyelash. She got on my eyelash. No, no, you're good. <laughs> no, 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 no. She got on my eyelash. No. I, you want to see my eye? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. Stop. <laughs> Punch in the gut, bro. <laughs> No, it's oh okay. my gosh, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's okay. It looks is good. It, it looks good. Alright. Yeah. Oh Alright, so, it has to dry it. All right, so let, let's go ahead and do the interview so we can let this dry out. Why? Jonathan! Oh no, you got it in my hair too? Yes. Take it off, Carol. No, it doesn't come off. Yeah. Alright, guys, this is my kid brother. Jonathan Garcia. Hey, say hi to the What's world. What's up? Ah, this itches. I told you. Oh man, my you eyes You got it on my eyebrow. All right. Well, uh, I asked Jonathan actually to get on the show and help us out, and with a little bit of insight, uh, we already know that I'm 27 years old. I'm getting up in age. He's still fresh. He's 19, um, but he's a hardcore Christian. I can definitely vouch for that, that he um, he's very dedicated at church. Uh, he does many ministries, and you can definitely tell that he studies a lot the Bible. And I want to know what motivates him um, and what drives him to keep going and how he can motivate every youth out there to follow his footsteps or find the drive that he finds to keep him going. So go ahead and tell us what you do at church. Well, uh, first of all, one of the first ministries that I joined was the worship ministry. Uh, basically, I started off at Trumpet. Then after that, uh, when Josh was moving to Cali, he just gave me a little bit of time to learn the bass. And then from then on to the present, I've just been playing the bass for the worship ministry. Also, I'm a youth uh, teacher as well for the youth class. And I'm an usher at the church as well. And I teach in the prayer services as well. Amen. That's, that's a big load. Yeah. Big, heavy load. But, um, so what motivates you to, to do that? What motivated you to get in all that? Well, I mean, just basically, first of all, I thank uh, my parents for obviously taking me to church. And obviously the people at church is what uh, motivates me as well. Like our, our pastor, first of all, like what he teaches and everything that he talks about 
it just really like touches me. Like every single message is always, I always feel like it's a message towards me. And what just keeps me motivated is a lot of things that like I've seen, like my mom, she had cancer and we prayed for her and now she's cancer free. Just a lot of things that motivate me, keep me going, that just, just keep making me believe that God is always there and that there is a God, obviously, with all the stuff that he's done for us, especially for me as well. And any uh, future goals in your Christian walk? What do you want to do uh, later on? Uh, I mean, I don't have a specific goal. I usually, how I do my, how I live my Christian life is basically wherever God puts me or wherever God needs me to be, that's where I'm gonna go. Just listening to to God and obviously following His steps wherever He needs me. It can be. In the same church, if he moves me to a different church, it's wherever God needs me. Amen. And then also, what we like to do is always, we're not doing this for our youth. We're not doing this for a certain type of age group. We're doing this for every youth. If you are old or young, but you consider yourself a youth, we're all about it. We want to know how how or what you can say to the regenerators out there to motivate them to find that burning desire that you found uh, that motivates you to keep doing what you're doing in church? Well, one of the things, uh, one first advice actually is once you uh, start your Christian walk, some, there's gonna be a lot of times that you're gonna fail and those are the times that you should learn from and those are the important times that you obviously need to go through because then once you get back to where you need to be uh, God is obviously gonna see that and he's gonna help you move forward because God knows that we make mistakes and to keep yourself motivated is obviously when you feel like you're slacking off make sure that you pray first to God and obviously you have to ask there are people in church or just like the youth as well you just just be like hey can you like help me out or or if you have doubts you know you can talk to the leaders at church as well but to keep yourself motivated it's just the the main thing is not giving up on this christian walk because it's going to be tough and not just a uh, like not slacking off so if you feel yourself uh, backsliding because there's no there's no point where you can stand still in your Christian life. Either you're moving forward or you're going backward. If you feel yourself backsliding, make sure you find your way to get back uh, up to where you need to be. Well, thank you so much, Jonathan, for giving us those kind words. And it's always good to not get my perspective and not get Robert's and other people's perspective. It's always good, good to use your resources, use the younger uh, people because believe it or not worlds change constantly the world changed constantly so I know that my generation is not like your generation and we have to they always are adapting and they're always using new tools because at the at the end we always have to be ahead of the devil we always have to be ahead of the devil and capture the young lives with music or with games or even with our sermons in class, and I appreciate you being on our regeneration. And it looks like it's about to be dried up. Hold up so that you can check it out as we pull these off. But I just want to say thank you. Thank and you. yeah, this is, gonna, this is gonna thank hurt. you. All right guys, the moment of truth. They said it hurts. I'll tell you the truth. Is it dry? No, don't pull it off. You're pulling it off. What do you mean, boy? All right, it's semi-dry. This doesn't hurt. You Take guys off the lie. eyebrow. No, first is this, because it's being annoying. Ah. Uh. Oh, that didn't hurt. Bro, it didn't even take on my blackheads. It did. Look how messy your thing is. Look. Are you sure we did this right? There's no pelitos. Not even, look. This is oh no, this is still wet. Oh, what a fail. This is still wet. Oh. All right, we did it wrong. But we're not doing it again because this was- This takes forever. Yeah. 
But thank you for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Regeneration TV. We are always, oh. we are always looking forward to hearing from you. So go ahead and take time to look at any one of these videos. If you're not subscribed, here's the time to do it. Five, four, three, two, one. Elotes. No, hit it. <laughs> Other than that, we love you guys. <laughs> Have a blessed and regenerated week, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.